Hey, I'm Zach. Welcome to another episode of our Autonomous Driving Future. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about the technology that goes into enabling cars to drive themselves. The first time I heard about cars driving all by themselves was in 2004 when I saw a news story about the DARPA Grand Challenge. DARPA stands for Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Think Department of Defense. In 2004, DARPA put up a million dollar prize for the first team that could drive a robotic car all by itself with no human help on a 150 mile route through the Mojave Desert. No team finished the race that year. The Carnegie Mellon University Red Team traveled the farthest, going only 7.3 miles. Yet just one year later, at the 2005 Grand Challenge, five vehicles made it to the finish line. Fast forward to 2016, and my Tesla Model X, with just its first version of autopilot hardware and software, can drive in most highway conditions, including traffic, all by itself. The car uses a stereoscopic camera right here along with forward-facing radar in the front, as well as ultrasonic sensors around the car and GPS to work together with the onboard computer to handle the steering wheel, brakes, and accelerator. We've driven from the East Coast to the West Coast and back over 8,000 miles, 25 states and two provinces of Canada using autopilot for more than 99% of those miles. Before we go any further, let's explain the five different levels of autonomy a car can have. Level one is when a car has a single piece of self-driving technology. For instance, when I engage traffic-aware cruise control, the car is controlling the speed, so the braking and the accelerator, and I'm still steering the car. Level two is when a car has at least two autonomous functions. So when I engage autopilot, now the car is controlling the speed and the steering, and my only job is to keep an eye on things. Level three is a bit of a weird area. It is similar to level two in that the car is in control, but only under certain traffic and environmental conditions. So it requires less attention by the driver under certain conditions, but many car manufacturers will skip this level because of the gray areas. Level four is where the vehicle is able to drive itself in all but extreme weather or very unusual road layouts. The level four system is switched on and off by the driver, but once it's engaged, the driver doesn't have to pay attention at all. Level five is where the driver turns on the car and tells the car where to go. Steering wheel and pedals are not required, as there is no human driver whatsoever. All Teslas produced since October 2016 have the next generation of autopilot hardware, AP2. With this suite of eight cameras, radar, extended ultrasonic sensors, and a new NVIDIA computer, the car can see 360 degrees all around. Combining all these sensors, the cars are able to see and process way more information than a human can. For instance, when changing lanes to the left, let's say, the car can see what's going on on the left even before changing lanes. And unlike a human who has to take his eyes off the road and look at all the mirrors, the computer is doing that all simultaneously. And even with just my first generation AP version one, my car can see two cars ahead. So even though I can't see the car two cars in front of me, my car can by bouncing radar beneath the car in front and even warn me if that car is braking so that I won't get into an accident. The radar that it's using can see through rain and darkness, making its vision superior to ours. And Tesla will be able to reach level five autonomy very soon. How is that even possible? The autopilot computer that Tesla is using was designed by NVIDIA, a company primarily known for designing graphics cards for game computers. But the same kind of thinking that goes into a graphic computer works very well for self-driving cars. They are very powerful, very fast, and very small. This one is the size of a lunchbox and only uses 275 watts of energy. It has eight teraflops of computing power. That's the equivalent of 150 MacBook Pros. That's 24 trillion deep learning operations per second. But does the computer know about every road and situation? The answer is no. The computer is going to have to learn. 
but it's going to learn very fast. Using what's called fleet learning, each car will share what it learns every day with the rest of the fleet Teslas. And so every day, every car in the fleet gets that much smarter. In 2012, when Elon announced the Tesla Summon mode, I thought, that's pretty cool. But then, Elon went on to say that Tesla has plans to make the car summonable from anywhere in the country. Wait, what? Is he crazy? He's been reading way too many science fiction novels. But you know what? It's a few years later, and we're not that far from that becoming a reality, at least technologically. When the car gets to level five autonomy, there's no technological reason why you couldn't summon your car from across the country if you wanted. But aren't autonomous cars against the law? Actually, 21 states have already passed legislation related to autonomous driving. The states in blue currently have autonomous driving laws, and states in green have executive orders relating to autonomous driving. And each year, the number of states considering legislation related to autonomous vehicles has gradually increased. And if your Tesla can drive autonomously, what would keep you from turning your Tesla into an autonomous Uber and making money when it would otherwise be sitting in your driveway? That's what Tesla is calling the Tesla network. And Tesla isn't the only one planning for this eventuality. Uber has just partnered with Daimler, which is planning on making autonomous cars for the Uber network by 2020. And GM has been buying up autonomous developers like Cruise Automation and is partnering with Lyft to do the same thing. You thought it was pretty cool when you could order an Uber using your smartphone, right? Just wait till you can order an autonomous driving car from your smartphone. And just think of the other apps that will be written. How about one that will allow you and your friends to arrive at the same place at the same time when coming from different places? Or the car sharing apps that will allow you to ride to work with other people who share your same interests? Maybe have a book club discussion on the way to work or play games together. The idea of autonomous self-driving cars may be hard for some people to imagine, but that doesn't mean it isn't going to happen. It's already happening as we speak. The technology has advanced to the point where autonomous cars are now possible. The computers and sensors are fast, small, and cheap enough, and the internet allows for fleet learning. The future is here. Hey, want to go for a ride?